It's time to welcome the wine ladies with Georgia and Suzanne. An entertaining hour topped up with great ideas about wine, where to dine, anything and everything to do with the vine. Great conversation, lots of laughter, guests from all walks of life, food and wine, music, art, sports, and much more, all on The Wine Ladies. Hi, everybody. It's us, The Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne. And welcome, everyone, to The Wine Ladies, one sip at a time. Thanks for joining us. Now, as you can see, we are not, on, not in studio today, but rather we are on location at the Delta Grandview Resort, relaxing already, sitting in our <laughs> Muskoka chairs, uh, just one and a half hours north of Toronto here in Muskoka, boasting three beautiful lakes among the 1600, Lake Joseph, Lake Rosso, and Lake Muskoka, which boasts a shoreline they call Millionaire's Row. I kind of like like that, Suzanne. <laughs> now we're here to reveal the incredible culinary scene here in Muskoka, which includes world-class restaurants, fresh farm fare, a local cottage brewery, as well as Muskoka Lakes Winery, famous for their cranberry wine. Mm. Savor Muskoka is what it's all about today. And joining us on our adventures is going to be the general manager of Savor Muskoka. James Murphy is going to be with us. We're also going to chat with Ken Schultz, who is the executive chef here at the Delta Grandview, as well as a winemaker, a brewmaster. It's going to be an awesome day. <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to meeting Papa Jim Smith. He's the bee master here at the Delta Grandview, and I understand he's a real honey of a guy. <laughs> Sweet of you, Suzanne. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be talking with James very, very shortly, and after that, we're going to head over to our first stop, which is going to be Grandville Farm, from farm to table. Our adventure begins. So James Murphy of a Savior Muskoka, why don't you tell us a little bit about what is Savior Muskoka all about? Well, thanks for coming up and exploring the region. Uh, Savior Muskoka, we're a non-for-profit organization and mm -hmm. essentially we manage information. We work with local farms in the area and local chefs and we help develop local food in the area. Um, food's very important and having the chefs show the farmers how their products use and share information on what the trends are right now mm -hmm. is, is really important to growing local food. For instance, we have some we have some purple carrots here from a local farm which mm -hmm. are great and uh, we have shiitake mushrooms I, I don't think a lot of people know that uh, shiitake is Japanese for oak and we have abundance of oak trees a here. A lot of oak trees so here. So it's, uh, it's you know working with the environment and saying, seeing what works and having the chefs give the farmers feedback on, on how to diversify their farms and, and how to uh, use products that are, that are trendy in the marketplace right now. Yeah, There's a lot of lettuce here on this table. Is yeah. this one of the specialties here in Muskoka? Or? It is a specialty here in Muskoka. Lettuce is great in Muskoka because of the warm, uh, the warm days and cool nights. Mm -hmm. So it grows really well, and it's all organic. and And the one thing you can see is the farmers leave the roots on it, so yeah. it increases the shelf life. Okay. It doesn't. Uh, you leave it in a bit of water, so it stays longer. So um, there's benefits to buying local and organic, and it's little things like leaving the roots on, so you can it stays longer and the shelf life is longer. So it's uh, Saver Muskoka's role is really to help manage that information and and create opportunities for chefs and farmers to showcase what they have mm -hmm. and also on the other side is to um, to develop farms to right. teach people how to grow mushrooms how to put up a greenhouse now, so how do you grow a mushroom like that it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty simple you just take an oak log and a uh, year before you want the mushrooms you drill a hole you spore them and then you just lay them down in a wooded area they're covered with snow year-round which is natural and then for about six years after you spore them you get about a pound of mushroom per log mm -hmm. and it's great it's uh, local mushrooms you don't get much local than that going to your backyard so oh, that's awesome and I know a lot of people when they think of Muskoka they think of all the recreation around right. Muskoka and the beauty of it and not so much about the farming but how, how many farms are there in Muskoka? Muskoka is very unique in that we have a, an abundance of small to rural farms, market farms. They're not commercial farms. And the importance of market farms is not only for the chef to interact with the farmer, but also for the culinary tourist. Because they don't want to see a commercial plant. Mm -hmm. They want to see the small market farm, the small farmer. They can talk to the farmer, and that's as good a ver verification as anything. You don't need a label. You just need to talk to the farmer. You can get that in Muskoka here with all our small to rural farms. And that story is told through our restaurant's chef. So you see how it's coming together. When you're sitting down at dinner, the, 
waiters and waitresses and the chef tells the story of where that product's from and that's that's as good as label as any. But don't you also uh, sometimes mark uh, some of the uh, products with a special Muskoka label as well? Yeah. Right now Saver Muskoka's role is, is also to be a verification process so when you see that brand Saver Muskoka on a product you know that it was grown, it was uh, brewed as we go to the Muskoka Cottage Brewery and yes. uh, Muskoka mm -hmm. Lakes Winery. You know it's a product of Muskoka and it's been, it has some intense integrity and honesty to it because it's been branded with that label as well as when you go into a restaurant and you sit down and you look at a menu and it's got that brand on there you know that the chef is committed to buying local fresh food and when they do that they're not only buying local food but they're creating a local food system so it's there's a lot of there's a lot of emotion and honesty and integrity to it but it's uh we need we need fresh local food it's important for for everything and speaking sure. of beverages let's check out the next table there's lots of great beverages yes. on the other table so let's move over there now over to my favorite table it's all about the wine not that i don't like to <laughs> eat don't forget the beer too <laughs> and the beer okay to the beverage table let's go with that so the muskoka brewery and the cranberry wine, cranberry wine. yeah this is these are going to be two of our stopovers today stops yeah bow is actually the cranberry capital of ontario and it's a um, it's multi-generation farm there and they've mm -hmm. been growing cranberries from some time and they're really, really involved with their wine making and uh, they have blueberry wine, cranberry blueberry wine and they have a red maple dessert wine and we'll be mm -hmm. going to the winery later to get a little tour and see the rustic nature of it and again it's a, it's a family property right. and they produce a, a, a great fruit wine, it's won many awards and the whole experience is something else so we'll, we'll really <laughs> get you there. Okay, we're not going to be picking cranberries are we? Well, I know we'll I'm going to be chasing happens. A chicken. Yeah. Well, I understand there's a big cranberry festival that happens in October as well. And yeah, there's we one have, happening this year as well. There's one happening this year, mm -hmm. and also Savers doing a Field to Fork uh, event there on uh, September 26th, where you can come and taste some of the wine and meet some of the chefs and indulge in local food. And it, it's a great opportunity because it's as beautiful as it is here right now it's with the lake. Stunning, lay. simply yeah, stunning. It's, it's like an art canvas it will change in the fall the colors oh, will come out yes. and it's mm. absolutely breathtaking so it's a great time to be up here to eat and drink local food and wine and as well enjoy the colors but the wine is not the only thing that up here we also have great craft breweries and right. not only Muskoka Cottage Brewery but we have Lake of Bays Brewery and uh, they make great Ontario craft beers so we have everything up here from the wine to the beer and uh, some of the, my favorite is the Muskoka Cream Ale okay oh, he's going to we're going to have a little preview. All right. So the Muskoka Cream Ale is, is a staple for anybody coming up to Muskoka. It, it's something else. And as you were sitting in those Muskoka chairs, yes. those mm -hmm. were actually a play on Adirondack chairs. Oh, and they're okay. special because Thank you. they designed them to be in cafes and restaurants because of the flat arm on the side. You can always place a drink and you don't well, need a side table. Well, they held our big glasses. So yeah. No problem yeah. at all. Cheers. Cheers. Start the day off right, <laughs> That's eh? That's right. Let's the adventure right. begin. To Muskoka. To Muskoka. Let's have a taste. Add sizzle to your life. Become a professional chef at Liaison College, Ontario's number one culinary arts and chef training facility. Liaison College features hands-on training by professional chefs in small classes with commercial-grade equipment, flexible starting dates, and 10 campuses to choose from. Start your career in one of the fastest-growing fields with worldwide demand from top restaurants to cruise ships to educational institutions. Liaison College grads are highly acclaimed with a placement and employment rate of over 90%. Visit liaisoncollege.com and feed your passion. Hey Suzanne, it's the only machine that I need. I know, it's a great workout in just a fraction of the time. It made me get excited about workouts again. T-Zone Vibration is making people sit up and take notice. Employing the newest technology and fitness equipment, T-Zone Vibration gives you an hour workout in just 10 minutes. Try it, believe it, you'll want to bring one home. T-Zone Vibration. Call 905-483-8676. T-Zone Vibration, 905-483-8676. Canada's cleaning sensation. It's a winner. Cleaning colors. A thousand uses in one convenient solution. Cleaning colors. Discover what winning colors can do for you. You win. Things lose. Winning colors. Find winning colors at these leading retailers. 
in Beauty Med Spa is constantly researching the latest innovations from around the world and bringing them home to you. It's a wonderful meeting of Eastern philosophies of skin and body care with exciting and innovative Western technology. All the in Beauty Med Spa health and wellness programs are medically supervised. A physician and dietitian are also available for client consultations. In Beauty Med Spa, inspire the nature of beauty. Visit InBeautySpa.com.